won't stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler Now, I want you to read these notes in a loud, clear voice. Do you understand that, Wilson? Yes, I understand, sir. In a loud, clear voice. Could you finish sorting those slides out yet, Corporal? Yes, sir. I shan't be a tick, sir. Oh, I must say I'm very excited about this. We've never had a lecture like this before, sir. Yeah, it, it's a perfect disgrace. Stuck in here like this on a perfectly beautiful summer's evening. <laughs> With a blackout's up. Well, we've got to have a map, haven't we, Mr. Fraser? I mean, we can't see the pictures. Aye, right, somebody, it's uh, positively unhealthy. You can cut the air in here with a knife. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> the silly old fool's in a deep coma. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wake him up, Taffy. He's tired out. He's been up all day. <laughs> there, come on. Why are we waiting? Why? There. It sounds like Fraser's voice. Yes, yeah, that's all that too. Quiet! Fraser! Fraser, be quiet! You come out when we're ready, not before. Are the blackouts up? Oh, yes, they're up, all right, so yes. Yeah, this isn't ours. This is a lot of Zulus dancing up and down. That belongs to the vicar. It's his lecture. Light into darkest Africa. Ah. Shall we go in? Right, sit down, everywhere. Yeah. Right, sir, right. Mike, put out the lights. Wilson, light the candles. All right, sir. Now, the subject of my lecture this evening is Know Your Enemy. And we're going to show you some pictures of Germans in uniform. You're not in church. No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you ready to show the slides, oh, Corporal? Yes, yes, sir. Don't... Yes, sir. I'll Good. be ready in a minute, so just keep back, will you? Are you ready to read the notes? <laughs> <laughs> Quite ready, sir. <laughs> First slide, please. Yes, sir. Have you got your clicker, sir? I got my one. It's a little, like a little frog, metal frog, and you go click, 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 and I know when to put the slides through, sir. No, I haven't got a clicker. Haven't you? Oh. Well, get the vicar's clicker. <laughs> You're not having the vicar's clicker. Why not? You won't let us have the vicar, so would you mind saying click, sir? Certainly not. Get on with it. Put the first slide in. Right, very good, sir, very good, sir. Right. Right. Click. Privates. Infantry riflemen, front, field grey uniform. National colours on right side of steel helmets. Yeah. Now, there are only two things to look at here, but uh, I want you to take particular notice of the eyes. You see the eyes? Mean, shifty, set too close together. <laughs> That's typically Nazi. Right, next slide. Click. Private. Just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to say click, oh, sir, not in. him. Don't <laughs> you say click. click. Get the next slide. Right, good job, right. Click. Private. The infantry rifleman, rear. German eagle on left side of helmet. Yeah. Now, the thing to look for here is this red, nasty bull neck with the uh, <laughs> bulging out over the collar. That's also typically Nazi. Watch out for that. Right, next one. Click! Click! Oh, shut up. Click! Panzer Grenadier, light machine gunner. Ah, yes. Now, the thing I want you to look at here are the ears. You notice there are no lobes to the ears. <laughs> it's a well known criminal trait. <laughs> Mr. Manry, aren't there any nice looking Germans? No. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Manry, sir. What's that thing hanging down? What thing hanging down? Well, that thing there. <laughs> we this thing here. Yeah, that thing there. <laughs> what is that thing hanging down? <laughs> Sir, it doesn't say. Excuse me, sir. I think it's probably a starting animal to a pansy tank. 
Yes. Is it possible? Yes, you can. Next one. Thank you, sir. Right, sir. Right, click. Cavalry, private, first class. That's not. Well, let's have any of that sort of talk, Mike. <laughs> Nothing smart about that at all. That's earth set rubbish. <laughs> that uniform probably fall to pieces in a matter of weeks. All for show and not for blow. <laughs> not like the British uniform, strong, sturdy, last forever, made by British craftsmen. <laughs> Carry on, Sergeant. All right, sir, all right. Cameramen serving in reconnaissance units Sergeant, have been Sergeant. that Sergeant. belong to what the... Is it, to would, you, the... would you mind asking the sergeant to speak up? I can't hear a word he's saying. He's, he's mumbling, he's mumbling. Can't any of you hear? No, 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 no. Sorry, Uncle. Look here, Wilson. Yes, sir. How do you expect me to keep the men's attention while you're talking in that boring way? You've got a very monotonous voice, you know. <laughs> Try and lift it up and down a bit. All right, sir. I'll do my best. <laughs> Cavalry men serving in reconnaissance units of infantry divisions belong to the infantry arm. The infantry of an armoured division are designated Yes, to... all, all right. That's it. <laughs> Is that going up and down enough to... Oh. <laughs> I want you to notice the dozy expression on this man's face. <laughs> Quite different, you see, from the British keen, alert, no, no, Godfrey, Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, be keen and alert. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I must have dropped off. It's rather stuffy in here. Yes, it is. I'm afraid we'll have to put up with it. We're on active service now, you know, Godfrey. Now, it's quite on the cards. <laughs> yes. The first Germans we shall encounter will be parachutists. Now, I'm going to show you one or two pictures of them. Can we have the, the uh, first parachutist, Corporal? Yeah, please? right, Joe. All right, all right. Keep back, keep back, right, Joe. Right, right, click. <laughs> it's upside down. You've done it. I knew you put one in upside down. It's not upside down, is it? No. Of course it's upside down. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I think Jonesy's right. Perhaps his parachute didn't open and he landed on his head. <laughs> Don't be absurd, Walker. Put it the other way around. Yeah, right, sir, right, sir. Parachute is second lieutenant. <laughs> Man ring. Yeah. Why has he got such titchy legs? <laughs> They're not titchy legs, that's his uniform. It's cut low, the crutch is cut low. <laughs> Stuff in, sir. What do you say, Fraser? <laughs> Padding for protection. That's right, sir, in case he lands on iron railings. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Joe's right, sir. They don't like landing on iron railings. They don't like it up in All right. right. <laughs> yes, you may have a point there, uh, sir, Walker. Sir, all the iron railings have been taken away for scrap. <laughs> the Germans don't know that, do they? <laughs> Where's his gun? Perhaps he left it in the plane when he jumped. <laughs> Walker, Walker, one more word out of you, and I shall ask you to leave this lecture. Evening, Napoleon. Oh, what do you want? Yes. I want to have a word with the verger. Oh, I'm sorry I can't stop now, Miss Todgers. I'm standing by to see there's no incorrect use of the vicar's apparatus. What are you all doing, crouching in here with the blackouts up? You must know I'm giving a lecture. A lecture? You're looking at funny photos. Funny photos? Yeah. Pinups, girls we know for. Girls we know. <laughs> How dare you? Leave this hall at once. I'm not going till I've seen the verger. Well, sit down until I finish the lecture. And listen, you might learn something. Mm. Right, carry on. German Navy, yeah, just, a moment, just, the just, a moment, just a minute. I'll give the orders here. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Quiet. Shall I go and ask? Yes, carry on. Right, thank you very much. German Navy, Admiral of the Line, the number of rings worn denote the rank. Right, let's have the slide, Corporal. Yes, yes sir. Sorry, sir. I've just. I'm just getting a bit of a muddle here. Stand back, stand back. <laughs> yes, right, sir. So right, sir. So. Right, there, ready, sir, ready. Read it out again. Uh, All right, sir, right. Listen. German Navy, Admiral of the Line, the number of rings worn denotes the rank. Click. <laughs> Shut the doors. Yes, sir. I didn't say anything to you out there because I didn't want to show you up in front of the men. Well, sorry, sir, but I, I don't understand what you're talking about. 
I'm talking about that absurd eyeglass you're wearing. Oh. It's ridiculous. You look like an advertisement for Sharp's toffee. <laughs> So you see, I, I wear this monocle because I have a weakness in my right eye. It's been bothering me for some weeks now. And a couple of weeks ago, I went to the oculist and he recommended it. Weakness in your right eye, my foot. Why can't you wear glasses like anybody else? Anyway, they're not for sergeants, they're for officers only. Well, show me in King's regulations where it says that a sergeant is not allowed to wear a monocle. I don't have to show you. Who ever heard of a sergeant wearing a monocle? Or if it comes to that, who ever heard of an officer wearing arch supports? Now leave my feet up. <laughs> well, don't go on about my eyes, and I won't go on about your feet. Now look here. Now, uh... <laughs> now, let's not be childish about this. Quite, sir. Quite, yes. Have you considered the hazards of wearing a monocle on active service? Yes, I have. Supposing you were wearing a gas mask, for instance, mm -hmm. and you dropped it. Wouldn't be able to put it in again, would you? Well, be rattling about inside the gas mask, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, no sergeant of mine is going to have a monocle rattling about inside his gas mask. <laughs> Besides, you might you might block up the air intake. Now, I don't want to be. Yes, come in. <laughs> what is that, Fraser? Captain Minor, sir. I'll come straight to the point. During the period we've been together, we've wasted far too many hours of our precious time, and tonight's lecture was the last straw. Now, look here, Fraser. Let me finish. <laughs> I've made some careful notes of it all, and if you'll just hold on a wee, I'll give you one or two items that might interest you. On November the 6th, 1940, you wasted three hours giving us a lecture on why the Germans don't play cricket. <laughs> On January 28th, 1941, you gave us a lecture telling us how Hitler, when he's in a rage, bites the carpet. <laughs> Well-known fact that he does. Maybe, but you then proceeded to waste two hours working out a plan on how to send him a poisoned hearth rug. <laughs> According to my notes, it comes to a total of 438 hours wasted on useless blather. Well, that's how I feel, and I had to come in and tell you so to your face. Uh, no offence intended, you understand. <laughs> that's all. I've never heard anything like that in my life. That's rank in subordination. Yes, I must admit it was rather strong. Sir. Strong? I'm just about sick and tired of Fraser's grumbling. Yeah. He's been a thorn in my side ever since this unit was formed. Every day there's something to grouse about. Ah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Grumbling, grumbling. I beg your pardon, sir? I've just remembered something I read in the Home Guard manual about oh, yes. this. Who's that? Ah, here we are. Man management. There is a sure cure for this form of unnecessary grousing, but a bad CO or NCO may be afraid to try it. Mm -hmm. It is simply the temporary exchange of rank. Let the grumbler have a free hand to run the section or platoon and learn for himself that it is not so easy. <laughs> well, I'm not afraid to try it. All right, sir. I'm going to get them together and throw out the challenge. All right, sir. We'll soon stop Fraser's grumbling. Yes. <laughs> and in conclusion, I feel that I must say that of late I get the impression that there is in the ranks a certain dis dissatisfaction with my methods of command. Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes? I'd like to make a statement, sir. Mm. I see it this way. An officer is an officer, a sergeant is a sergeant, a large corporal is a large corporal, and a private is a private. <laughs> <laughs> yes? No, that's all there is, sir. <laughs> well, what's that got to do with it? I haven't got anything to do with it, sir, but I just thought I ought to say it, sir. <laughs> Now, I don't feel that it's fair that the many should be blamed for the errors of the few. Here, here. I'm glad you made that interruption, Fraser, because it underlines the point I'm wishing to make. You are the chief culprit. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> Whenever there is any grumbling or grousing or discontent, you are found to be at the bottom of it. Now, I have only one thing to say to you, Fraser, or to anybody else for that matter. If any of you think that you can run this platoon better than I can, you're very welcome to try for a couple of days, starting from now. That'll take the wind out of his sail. <laughs> Has anybody anything to say? Yes, I have. Yes, Fraser? Give me your peps. 
You can't wheedle your way out of this for me. There's a discrepancy. Eight yards of four be two missing and unaccounted for. Well, I think if you look at the other... Stand the attention when you're addressing an officer. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I may have given a little extra to some of the chaps or something Precisely. like that. Precisely. Hmm? Incompetence and extravagance, maybe even corruption. Well, that's it. You're busted. I beg your pardon? You heard? You're busted. Get them off! <laughs> Get what off? Those stripes. I want those stripes, Private Wilson. And you can tell yon spiff fellow to come in. Now, look here, you can't possibly well, talk yeah. to me like that. You're dismissed! Right turn! Quick! Arch! Left, right, left, right! Get a move on here, you! Walker, in here. Oh, at the double! Everything all right, Wilson? You know, sir, that fellow Fraser really has gone too far. Well, I'm sure you can handle him. But he's busted me. He's what? He's busted me, reduced me to the ranks. Ah. <clears throat> well, that's a very good sign, really. Give him enough rope, he'll hang himself. What's he busted you for? Oh, I don't know, some trifling discrepancy in the store's accounts. Eight yards of four by two. I mean, I ask you. I have warned you many times about that, you know. You're far too lackadaisical yeah, in these Yeah, but he spoke to me in the most offensive manner, you know. He, he told me to take my stripes off. I, I really do think you ought to do something about it, sir. Yes. Very well, I will. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I knew I could rely on you. Just hand me those scissors, will you? <laughs> ah, all these ribbons. They cut me waist with me, Jones. So you might as well know where you stand from the start. I think you're a woolly-minded old ditherer. A woolly-minded old ditherer? <laughs> well, at least you're hearing sound. Well, is that what you think? I'm resigning. I wouldn't serve under you if His Royal Majesty the King were to ask me. I'm reducing myself to the ranks as a feck from now. A good riddance of bad rubbish. And it's no good coming round to my shop asking for sausages, cos the answer will be in the infirmative. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, Wilson. You're just going to have to go on parade and soldier on as a private. Yes, but I, I, I know he'll be rude to me, sir, and I cannot bear it when people are rude to me. My heart starts to pound, and I just have to sit down, that's all. <laughs> you don't sit down when I'm rude to you. I know, but, I, you see, I don't take any notice of you, sir. <laughs> Come in. What is it, Corporal? <laughs> well, Captain Mannering. <laughs> Captain Mannering. Is something the matter? Well, sir, you know me, sir. I'd, I'd go through fire and, and brimstone and treacle for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I will not serve under a common man, sir. So after 40 years, I'm resigning my non commission. <laughs> <laughs> Go and sit down, Corporal. <laughs> Playing right into our hands. How do you make that, Arthur? Well, by antagonizing the platoon. Oh. If nobody will serve under him, then he's done for. That's right. Come in. Excuse me. Um, Uncle Private. Oh, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> um, will I tell Mum that you're going to be home for supper? Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, Captain yes, Fraser yes. says I can go home now oh, with the good all news. All right, all right. What good news? Well, Captain Fraser says I have hidden qualities of drive, tenacity and leadership. So he gave me this. <laughs> right! Right, Captain Fraser says a private, Wilson, private. Jones can have the rest of the day off to recuperate. He expects you here tomorrow, 6.30 sharp. Oh, yes, sir. He sends his compliments. Says, can you have your stick and gloves? <laughs> How dare he? Come in, man. Come in, come in. You sit you down. Take the weight off your feet. <laughs> That's very kind of you, thank you. Now, my dear friend and the pastor, I've said some harsh things to you, all for your own good mind, but no doubt the heart. Well, I, 
I always felt you, you never meant the man kindly. Precisely. Uh, I'm a simple man. I speak my mind and what's in this hard old Scottish heart. But now that I'm in charge, you need have no fears. I sympathise with you. That's very kind of you. Yes. So, if ever you're feeling off colour, or if it's your day for the clinic, uh, don't worry about it. Just don't bother to come in at all. <laughs> That's very understanding. But if you do come in, you'll do as the others do, or take the consequences. <laughs> so now, we know where we stand, eh? <laughs> come in. Oh, Schwad! Schwad! Oh, uh, are you the commander of this unit? I'm indeed, sir. Oh, my name's Miggis. Huh? I've taken over area command. I'm glad they had the good sense to put a Scotsman in charge. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Uh, from the Isle of Barra, sir. A wild and lonely place it is, you understand. <laughs> the life is hard, and so are the men. Well, that's the sort we need these days. <laughs> I might go now, sir. Oh, I go on going. <laughs> Thank you for, for being so considerate, uh, I think. <laughs> uh, when, uh, how are things with the unit? Well, to be frank, sir, it's been a terrible day. My sergeant's been on the fiddle. <laughs> My corporal is incompetent, but uh, I've busted them both. Oh, I see. Well, can you replace them? <laughs> That's what I did answer. Ah, well, obviously there's nothing to worry about here. No, thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, Captain, uh, I don't suppose you'll play the pipes. Did I do, sir? Ah, well, now, I'm planning a wee Highland get-together at HQ officers' mess, and I'd be delighted if you'd join us. <laughs> It'll be a rare honour, sir. Ah, good. Well, I'll send you an invitation. <laughs> Meanwhile, carry on the good work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> good day to you, Captain Mannering. Good day. <laughs> Mannering. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come on, hold your hand out. We're all fed up with you. Come I'm glad Mannering on. impressed you, sir. He's a good man. I must say, I never knew he played the bagpipes. Well, he certainly does. He told me with his own lips. Well, to tell the truth, I didn't even know he was a Scot. Mannering isn't a Scot's name, is it? Well, perhaps it used to be Mac Mannering and he dropped the Mac. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps it wasn't raining. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you got a comic to read, boy? <laughs> anyway, uh, I've asked him and the unit to come over so that he can pipe in the haggis. My, my, I haven't seen that for years. Precisely. So lay it on, will you? Yes, sir. The Captain Mannerine will pipe in the haggis. Now you're going to get a big surprise. You're nothing but a basket full of lies. Come in. The men are outside, sir, and waiting for you in rows. I presume you mean in ranks. Oh, yes, of course, yes, ranks. <laughs> <Sorry for that. laughs> How are they? Oh, they're very well indeed, sir. All very pleased to be back to normal. I'm very glad that you're once more in command of us all. Naturally. Uh, I should think Fraser's learned his lesson, wouldn't you? Oh, I think he would, sir, yes, yes. I hope we all have. <laughs> Turn, <laughs> Steady, eat. <laughs> uh, well, now that we're all back to normal, I'm sure you'd like me to thank Private Fraser for his spirited attempt to run the platoon. I'm sure that he now realises some of the problems and is only too relieved to be a squatty again. Ah, uh, how on, sir? How no on? No talking in the ranks. Sir. I'd like to say that I think Captain Fraser made a very good job of it, considering. I would like to second that. And I would like to unsecond it. <laughs> Mind you, I, I think Captain Mannering's better than Captain Fraser. Oh, yeah, in some ways, yeah. Well, well, Captain Mannering is more of a gentleman than Captain Fraser. Yeah, I know, but you knew where you stood with Captain all right, Fraser. All right, all right, all right. All right. Be, be, be quiet. Settle down. Anyway, it's all over now, and I'm sure that we've all benefited from the experience. Now, quite out of the blue, I've had an invitation from Major General Menzies. Sanger, Mengis. What did you say, Fraser? We pronounce it Mengis, sir. <laughs> Do you? 
from Major General Menzies <laughs> to take part in the ceremony of the piping in of the haggis. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that uh, it's a great honour indeed to be asked to partake in so ancient a ritual. Ah, <laughs> but, sir, that happened because the General was the so impressed with the... Don't talk in the ranks, please, Fraser. Ah, very well, sir. <laughs> now, <laughs> I want a very good turnout. All eyes will be upon us. Aye, but, sir, and you ought to know one for thing... For the last time, Fraser, stop talking. Very well, sir. Upon your own head be it. Come in. Escort party outside, sir. Good. Show them in. Sir. You may go in now, sir. Well, good evening, Mannering. Good evening, sir. I'm very sorry we're late, but uh, our transport developed a fault. However, uh, we're here now, and I hope the General will forgive us. Unfortunately, he's been called to the war office for a briefing, but he wants the piping to go on. I'll join the other officers now that you have arrived. The sergeant here will fill you in on the ceremony. I will, sir. Uh, by the way, uh, cap's on, of course. Thank you, sir. Cap's on. Cap's on, everywhere. Right, now then. Boss. We need a bearer for this. Ah, yes. Now, uh, Permission to speak, sir? Yes. I should like to bear that. <laughs> I'd enjoy bearing that loan, sir. I'd also consider it an honour as well as also. <laughs> yes, all right. It uh, should be a sergeant, sir, by rights. Yes, of course it should. You take it, Wilson? Yes, I will. I'd love to. Thank you so much. How kind of you. <laughs> all right. We need two men on the doors. Here. Fraser, walk up. Aye. On the doors. Thank Thank you, the escort goes two abreast behind. Move! Move! Come on! Now, once inside, it's twice round the table, then present the President with the haggis. Is that clear? I think so. Very good, sir. I shall go inside, and when they're ready, I will give three loud taps with my pace stick on that portal there. That will be the signal for the escort party to advance with the haggis. Is that clear? Quite clear, Sergeant. Thank you. Very good, sir. That clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, got it? Right. Ready. Hold that. Just the way to do it. No, no. Hang on. Arms. Very curious, man. Here you are, sir. Nicola with a B off. Ah, good. <coughs> I take it the Colonel will be playing them. No, you are. I am. Of course. That's what you're here for, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now will you let me speak? It was me the General invited. Me, because of the way I handled the platoon. Indeed. Indeed. So now you're sunk. Captain Mannering, and there's only one thing he can do. Let me go in there at the head of my platoon playing the pipes. And let me take the credit I deserve. There go the knocks. They're sounding your doom. <laughs> Nemesis has struck. Get back in your place, Private Fraser. Man, oh man. You're a bigger fool than I thought. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure you're doing the right thing? <laughs> I spent my honeymoon at a place called Envergeeky. Oh. <laughs> it's a wild and lonely place, you understand? Yeah. <laughs> the nights were long. There was nothing else to do. 